Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 6 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over different math operators such as plus, minus, division, multiplication, and something called the modulus operator, which you may know from second or third grade as remainder. So when you divide a number like uh, 5 divided by 3, you get remainder 2. So 1 remainder 2, because 2 is left over from that division. Um, that doesn't make sense. I will hopefully clarify that uh, later in this tutorial. So I'm just going to go over the basic operators and what they look like in programming. So plus is just plus, minus is just minus. Um, multiplication is the star sign, that's shift 8, just above the 8 key. Um, division is just simply the uh, slash, um, that's just division right there. And uh, the modulus operator, which is remainder, is the percent sign, which is above the 5. Shift 5 will give you the modulus operator. So those are your five different operators, and I will be explaining all of them shortly. So as you've seen in previous tutorials, I'm just going to make a couple variables here just to store my values. So int num1, int num2, and I'm going to make these equal to, uh, let's see, 5, and oops, this one's going to be equal to 6. And I'm also going to make another variable, uh, it's just going to be called answer, just, it's going to store my result that I get from um, the different operations that I do. So I also need um, to print this, so to do so with integers, I can do percent %i or percent %d, depending on your preference. I'll leave it for i for some of you who like i a little bit better, um, since I guess i does make a little more sense for integers. But anyway, um, just get used to both of them, just in case I do write d or i. Anyway, so I'll leave it as i for now. Um, and then I'm just going to use answer as my variable to put in here. So here I go. I'm going to show you how to do different math operations. So answer gets, and I can also do normal math. So I can just do 5 plus 6, and then that could be my statement. And answer will get a value of 11. And that would be all fine and dandy. Sometimes we like to use variables as well. So, um... I'm just going to use this as an example to show you actually how uh, oops, how this actually behaves. And as you can see, boom, 11 as our answer. And it's just giving me the error that saying it's been unused variables. But that will be solved very shortly. So I can also use variables as part of my equation or my uh, operation here. So num1 plus num2. So 5 plus 6, and as you can see, I will get the same answer as 11, since num1 is equal to 5, and num2 is equal to 6. 5 plus 6 equals 11, and it prints my answer. So that's all good and all. And now I'm going to show you the minus operation. It doesn't really behave any differently, as you'd expect it to. It just subtracts the two numbers. But all I want to show you out of this is that it can give negative values as well. So it's not just limited to positive values, if you were wondering that. So 5 minus 6 gives negative 1 and just prints it out. So now I'm going to move on to multiplication, which isn't any different really than what you'd expect it to be. And I'll compile. Oops, i got to save it. Save. And I'm going to compile it again. And now you can see a value of 30. 5 times 6, 30, prints the answer. Alright, now here is the more difficult stuff to understand. I'm going to try to explain it as well as I can. So if I go to divide these two numbers, this is called integer division, and um, hopefully I can explain it pretty well here. So um, in math, if I wanted to do 5 divided by 6, and thinking back to like first or second grade, or whenever you first learned division, you always had remainder. And if 5, or if 6 didn't go into 5 evenly, then you would have a 0 for an answer. Then you'd have remainder 5, because it doesn't actually go in evenly. Inter integer division is like second grade division, where you if it doesn't go in equally, or it can't go in, then it doesn't, and it will be 0. So since 6 can't go into 5 once, 
or twice or any other number, it it can't go in at all. It's just going to give us that, that value of zero. So I will demonstrate that here. And as you can see, five divided by six is zero, since six goes into five zero times. That's integer division. And I'll show you this later with um, decimals as well. And it'll work um, more the way you expect it to. So now that I explained integer division, I'm going to go into the modulus operator. So now um, this is just your remainder. So now, as I explained before, 5 divided by 6 doesn't go in equally once. But I do have a remainder of 5 still left over. Since I can't put 6 into 5 once at all, I'm just going into the remainder of whatever is left over. So hopefully you guys can remember uh, second grade uh, second grade uh, division and how that kind of worked. Um, i trying to explain as best as I can here, but um, hopefully you understand. Um, so maybe to make this even a little easier, um, if I had a bigger number, let's say 7. So let's see, 6 goes into 7. Oh yeah, it goes in one time. And then I'm going to have whatever's left over. So as you can see, when I go to run this, it's going to give me a value of 1 that's left over. Since 6 goes into 7 one time, and the remaining number that's left is 1. Since, um, as you it just, you, you, I'm sure you guys understand this. It's really not that hard to understand. 6 goes into 7 one time, and since you only have 1 left over, that's your remainder. So that's the modulus operator for you. Not too hard to understand. It's fairly simple. So moving on now to doubles. Um, double again is a number with an inch, or sorry, a number with a decimal. And I'm going to make all these, oops, doubles now. And then I have to, of course, change my print f because my format is different. It's no longer, sorry, no, no, no longer integer. So I can make it a floating point. And uh, now answer is already a double. All is good. That's what we want. So I can do normal math like I did before. And as you can see, it'll give me my 13 and the extra zeros that it puts at the end. So 13 with a decimal. So all everything else works the same way. Now, if I move to division, however, and I go back to, uh, let's get, give a good example here, 2 and, actually, let's do even easier, 1 and 2. So 1 divided by 2, if you know math at all, um, it's 0.5 or half. So when I compile this, it will give me 0.5 as my answer. So um, all it's doing is normal math, like the answer you get on a calculator. Now, you might think, oh, okay, so now I can just do my modulus operator. Um, let's compile. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. It's not going to work. And um, why doesn't it work? Well, it's not doing your first or second grade division anymore. It's doing calculator division stuff that um, actually gives you a decimal answer. So since it gives you this 0.5 as an answer, it's no longer a whole number. It's no longer integers. So you don't actually have a remainder. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. So modulus is completely irrelevant unless you're using um, unless you're using integers. So um, again, th that should make sense to you. Just grab a calculator or look on your computer uh, calculator, divide 1 by 2, and you will get 0.5 as your answer. So um, the reason modulus doesn't work is because there is no remainder. 0.5 is the exact answer. So I um, hope that all made sense to you guys. Um, it's not too complicated, and uh, it's it's fairly simple to understand. Uh, one last thing I wanted to point out is you can even do uh, without the answer variable. If you just wanted to print this in the print statement, I can do even um, different calculations just in the print statement. So I can do num1 plus num2. And since I haven't added a comma, it thinks, oh, this is just one big variable. So now I'll just leave it as that and compile. And there you go, we get three. 1 plus 2 equals 3. So that is basically operators for you. Uh, simple tutorial, and uh, if you do like these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel, 
and hope to see you next time. Leave a comment and rate. Thanks. See ya.